node. So that's what we're gonna hope for, guys. We're gonna give the 53E our love. We're gonna make sure they don't get 10 would because you, you just don't wanna look at the 10 okay? You, you don't wanna see that score ever. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So Les could halt right here and take some shots and maybe get a snipe, you know, just one kill, just one kill and you're ahead. And um, when you're that far away, it doesn't even matter if you shoot because you can just reload. And if they're trying to rush you, it takes, you know, a good like 30, 40 seconds for them to get to you and it takes 11 seconds to reload. So you can get a few shots off. Like it's, it's all about just taking shots when you can. Um, so here we are hitting the hill a bit, but we get a kill. So Ah, Strategis down, that is a very key player, he's a good melee. Um, here the 53 opting to retreat, they're going to go off to the right in a column. Agent P is on the on the pursuit, he's going to take some shots. We could see a reverse column here. Uh, we do see th three lucky kills, four, five, six kills for the 5080. You know, that's a, a volley from that where, you know, they're moving targets. You know, you can expect maybe two kills, but six kills, that's very good shooting from the 5080. So we'll see how they do here. We are seeing some FOL from the 53E, sadly. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The melee does kick off. And I think we are seeing um, some UK players pushing into the center here. We have seen uh, the melees get quite fragmented, which we're seeing again. Everyone is quite spread out. We're seeing a few small group fights instead of a large one. So legit snipe with a Z is going for the 2v1. Um, now he could opt to just spin on this guy. It seems like he he is a cadet, so this might be an easy target. He goes down, as I said. Now we're fighting a ransacker, and uh, that was quite an easy kill as well, just letting himself die right like that. Um, can legit snipes hold off from the zombie invasion? He does get two kills. Does he get the third? He gets the third, and he goes down. With a double stab to the nads. Sadly to see. So 9 0. 9 0. 9 0 for the 5080. Now it is important to note the 53E does have a man advantage going into this, so they can take a casualty and still be fine. It would be 20, 22 versus 22. So uh, that can. That can make a big difference. Um, here we could see Les take some shots, maybe get some good snipes off. Now this is getting pretty close, so you don't want to waste your shots at this point. Uh, so this will be just down to... Oh, never mind. We're not going to see any fancy uh, fancy leading. We're just going to see two volleys duking it out. And we'll see who gets the better of each other. It is very even so far. 50AD does get more kills so far. But let's see if the returning fire from the 53E has some something to save. Ryder gets a kill. The Shrekker goes down on the 53E side. You never want to see the Shrekker go down. You gotta have Shrek in your life. <clears throat> so we are seeing 50AD take advantage. They are getting a lot of kills here. Um, but you know, a big thing about this is you don't have to pick spacing, so the 53E could potentially bring it back simply because they're much harder targets now. But I don't know if we'll see that. We do have this critical mass from the UK line where they're able to shoot them up. Uh, but yeah, here we see it. So the 53E is being they are very hard shots because they're so spread out so we could see kind of a comeback but you know two more down prime and michael might not happen we see two more kills at least here comes the melee six feet ten we'll need a miracle here peter chow goes down very good melee <clears throat> we are seeing a lot of kills from falcon and raiden just getting the oh uh, he goes down Let's see christensen Cr christensen sorry i can't pronounce that name he goes down. <coughs> I've got something in my throat. I'm sorry. No dick comments, please. <laughs> That's 10-0. That's 10-0, boys. Now, <coughs> that was a good game. Let's say GG. Uh, so that was a good game. Very well played by the 58E. I think uh, we just saw... A, in fact, you know, I would say the 53E could, take, could have taken some uh, rounds there, but... You know, Agent P's regiment was so good on the shooting. Um, even when, uh, even when it was just a very even shooting, uh, a very even shootout, uh, it just seemed like the 50AD had the better shots. And a lot of that is luck. So, um, very lucky of the 50AD to be taking some of those very close volleys. But in, in general, though, the leadership and the melee, I'd say, was better on the 50AD side, and that's why we saw such a stomp. Um, but I don't think Les's regiment was that far away. I don't think it was that far away from, you know, getting like a 5-5 or something. It's just missing that little extra push. 
um, to get a bit closer to just something because in in the melees it was quite close they got it down to like 5v5s quite often so you know with just a few more good melees with just a few more kills in the volleys they could have really evened that game out um but yeah they are missing that little push um so let's see in the chat you know what were you guys expecting were you guys expecting a 10-0 i was expecting something close maybe 6-4 for the 50 ad um maybe 6-4 but that didn't work out uh Hold on, okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, they, they can get a comeback like Vanilla Ice. Yes, like Vanilla Ice, they can get a comeback. France did great in melee, that is true. They really did good, good at do good. Well... And now, when you're talking about France, are you talking about... Um, are you talking about the 50 AD or the 53? Because they did play both sides. I correctly predicted a 10-0 while you just won money, my friend. Grim said you should do porn so I can jack off to how funny you are. Oh, very good. I'll I'll do porn. I was expecting a pub stop. Um, I don't. I, I think the 53E. They're not pubs at this point. I think they do have it in them, but they just need the extra push. Just a few more mailers and uh, they really can be a, a good contender. Let's take a look at the groups. I don't actually know who else is in these groups right now. So this was Group D, um, sorry I can't put this on screen, 53E, 58E, NR52, 34E. Uh, so that's quite a big group, NR52, that's uh, Stox's regiment, no sorry that is not, that is Balthazar's regiment. So the 52, NR52 is quite a contender there as well, 34E, I don't know much about them. Um, but yeah, we do have three regiments there that are kind of well known, and I'm sorry I don't know much about the 34E. Grim, you did a great job. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the land battle. Um, I was filling in for George, so you can check more more of these land battles on the official TNW Twitch account. I don't have a link for you, sadly, but uh, you can find it on the thread here. I'll just post this link in the thread, or sorry, this link in the chat. <clears throat> my mind is racing because I, I never talked this fast in my life So you guys can check there for info on the total tournament. We are in the group stages right now. We'll start the single elimination soon and um, Yeah, thanks for thanks for watching guys um